Hello, I'm Jeff Cavins, and today we're looking at the readings for the 26th Sunday in Ordinary Time. How do you tell if someone really believes? If you were to ask people on the street, what do you believe? What are you willing to do for the kingdom of God? Do you follow Jesus? If they told you that they did, and they told you they would do anything, and that they have done this and that, well, how would you know if they really believed? And the answer is, if they do it. If they do it. Sometimes we find ourselves in situations where we say one thing, but we don't end up doing it. Like my wife can say to me, will you go up to the store and will you pick up these things for dinner? And I say, well, of course, yes, I will. And it uh, turns out I go up to another store and I get sidetracked and I don't end up doing it and I come home. In the meantime, my wife may say to one of my daughters, will you go up to the store and get something for dinner? And they say, no way, I'm too busy. I don't want to do that tonight. And they, they leave the house and it turns out they do go to the store and they do buy what she wanted. Well, which one do you think really did what she wanted and really fulfilled her desires and her wishes for dinner that night? It wasn't me. I said I'd do it, but I didn't. My daughter said she wouldn't, but she did. That's the same as the readings this week. We see it's a parable of two sons. What do you think? A man had two sons, and he went to the first and said, Son, go and work in the vineyard today. And he answered, I will not. But afterward, he repented and went. He went to the second son and said the same. And he answered, I go, sir, but did not go. Which of the two did the will of his father? They said, the first. And Jesus said to them, truly, I say to you, the tax collectors and the harlots go into the kingdom of God before you. Now, that's an interesting teaching right there because we don't think of the tax collectors and the harlots as people who are going to go into the kingdom of God because by their behavior, they're saying, no, I'm not interested in the kingdom of God. But they end up going into the kingdom of God because of their obedience. And at the same time, there's people that are saying, well, I will obey you and I will do all these things, but they don't. The key there is doing it. We can talk all day long about what we believe and what we'd be willing to do and how much we love God, but it really comes down to, will you be obedient and will you do it? That's the litmus test right there. Now, in the, in the epistles reading this week, in, in uh, Philippians chapter 2, we see that Jesus, he humbles himself and he is obedient even to death. He is obedient even if it costs him everything. My friend, this is what a disciple is all about. This is what it means to, to follow Jesus. It's, it's not lip service that we want to pay to him or to others, but it is an obedient heart. It is a faithful heart, a heart that is given over to his will, to demonstrate his will, not with lip service, but by what we do in our actions. And our goal is to become like Jesus, who is obedient even to death. I love this reading of the parable of the two sons. And I challenge you this week as I challenge myself to take a look in the mirror and ask, which son are you? Now, ideally, it would be better for us not to say no and then say yes by doing it. It would be better to say yes and then do it. Let our yes be yes and let our no be no. And let us live a life that is filled with integrity, tenacity, that we will do what Jesus has called us to do, even as Philippians says, even if it cost us our life.